All right, welcome back. As promised, I'm going to install these fuses for our circuit one compressor. This is circuit two, still operating. This is that RTAE, the AFD3 stealth chiller. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, let's get into this. All right, we're good to go here. All right, so this was our circuit one. Uh, in the last video, we had two balloon fuses, one and three. So we're going to swap out all three fuses and uh, we did ohm out the compressor and check that fine. We're going to run a mega test on it and just verify there's nothing else wrong. But this was the one that we found a lizard had shorted across the L1 there. So hopefully that's all that's wrong. We'll get it new fuses put in there and uh, see what happens. This here. Uh, I got a fix for that, so I'll show you that in a little bit. And we're also waiting our five minutes for that to bleed off. We're a couple minutes into it, but we're gonna check it here. All right, we're good on one. All right, high voltage is dead, so we're gonna start taking that guard off. Uh, and this is still bleeding down, we had like five volts, so we're heading in the right direction. All right, and uh, just to point out, they use 7 16 up here, it's 10 millimeter down here. So now you know. All right, so the fuses we got, obviously are bolt-in type, they are 200 amp and 500 volt rated. So we're gonna go ahead and replace all three of those. And while he's doing that, I've taken off the cover to the compressor and broke these free. So we can do a little testing on these compressor windings. All right, so first I'm gonna just, I gotta set on the ohm setting We'll just ohm the ground. <clears throat> and we'll check between one and two, one and three. one and three was again let's see yeah so they're all the same now we'll switch over to our meg test the insulation out here let's go with a thousand nothing's touching And our three. We're good. All right, I got these back and they're to the proper torque specs of good and tight. So we'll put the cover back on. See how I did on these fuses. 
All right, we've got our fuses in there. Let's just check, make sure before we throw power to it. Very good. Um, just going to confirm those are good and tight. These have lock washers on them, so we're not going to go crazy. See that 10 millimeter? It'll be fine. All right, so that's done. I can put the sneeze guard back on and let's take care of that problem. All right, so couldn't find much info on this other than, uh, you know, if the compressor does get replaced, I think this gets deleted and they just put Polaris taps in here. So we're gonna do the right thing. Just touch it up. I don't know how deep this goes. I'm just gonna superficially Clean what we can. There you have it. That ought to do. All right, I think we're at that moment, we can throw the fire back to it and give it a few more minutes, I guess, to dry. And not that that's going to really affect anything. And um, I'm happy with it. This is kind of a pain. All right, terminal box got its cover. We'll just leave this open to make sure it starts and he's tightening up the panel and we'll throw the fire to it. Duke, power on. So we still have it off at the chiller. Let's turn that one back on. Here we go. Okay, so here is our AFD1. We got 483 coming in, and now our DC bus is back up to 680. I uh, forget what we had in the last one, but it was under 200, I believe. And let's see what two. Circuit two. Circuit two is 483 and 679. good sign all right now we can go ahead and start This is our circuit one. Yeah. Here's to be starting. And circuit two is still off. Okay, so our uh, amp. Current 76, almost 77 percent. That's on our circuit one. Let's go back to our motor. And 
Bridge all looks good. Our circuit one compressor. Nice and quiet. And this looks like the original compressor. It's a 2014. Alright, we have we've got number two. Also working and one. All right, all our circuit one fans are working. Alright, looks like uh, we win, and the uh, little lizard that tried to stop the train was only successful for a couple days. The hardest part was uh, locating the fuses. But water temp's doing good. We're back online. So, Alright guys, appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Got the drive. Fuse is replaced. Circuit one's back up and running. Chiller lives. It's a cool another day. See you in the next one.